हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोड आर्टिसन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 92 फॉर मल्टी वेंट री कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जीएस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सेव द पेमेंट मोड एंड ट्रांजैक्शन रेफरेंस इन आवर टेबल राइट सो इफ आई सी इन द वेबसाइट हियर राइट सो व्हेन वी मेक पेमेंट करंटली वी आर नॉट सेविंग द we are not saving the reference id or uh, payment mode that in which payment mode we are doing payment so suppose if we are doing payment in with the razor pay or uh, paypal then we need to save the id right so when we click on the proceed we are in usd and i will remove this stripe because we are not using it right and uh, paypal okay so it will show this and after success we will save this trans uh, transaction reference it will return it will return from the paypal and then we will save as a paypal method right so we need to create field in our model so let's do that and uh, then we will save in uh, both payment gateway okay so let's do okay so let's def let's modify the order model so the first for the first thing is trans reference equal to model start we will save the reference so let's say text field or we can see we can say okay let's say text field so by default it will null so null equal to true right and blank is also true and the second one is payment mode equal to we will save the payment mode as a character field so for the character field we need to define the max length equal to 100 correct let's say 200 all right now let's migrate this so first of all clear py manage dot py make migration py manage dot py migrate okay then manage dot py run cell all right now let's first uh, save the reference of razor pay and then uh, we will save the payment uh, paypal okay okay so for razor pay let's add this value in the card and uh, we will change this in the inr proceed and is showing the razor pay let's confirm the uh, this is our confirm order and let's see where is the razor pay so here and razor pay handler so in this we are calling this function order status right so when we call this order status we are saving this uh, status okay now we need to post one more thing not one more thing two more things right so we will say trans data equal to new form data right and in this let's see first of all let's see uh, we have a constant here so what we need to do we will check that what it is returning right so if i order status is this order id razor pay handler response data and then here is a response correct and this is our handler right so this is our payment id correct so in this handler we can run the function okay so actually let's create another function not we will uh, touch this order status but let's create the another function correct update order status but uh, let's check what we are doing in this url 
order status here we have okay i think we should do in this function let's do that so trans data and then uh, we have to post so let's see data equal to parameter we will pass the trans data okay and in this handler we will pass the data update order status and in this we will pass the first thing is transaction reference and we will pass the payment id okay and the second one is pay mode okay so payment mode this one so payment mode and we will say razor pay okay so these two things and then we will go to order status by default order status let's say empty okay and uh, here we have trans data where we will pass trans data and then we will run this then function okay so i will say if if trans data then we will create the form else it will be empty okay so let's create here empty okay and uh, if this then we will pass the data and what data we should pass here trans data dot trans reference equal to trans data dot trans reference we should change the name actually let's say trans data this okay so this is trans data and then the second one is payment mode so payment mode here so this one is payment mode and this is payment mode and then finally we will send this data okay and uh, in this function we will check here if if payment mode in request dot post then we will run this function else we will run some other function so the in the else mode we have this else we have this one so payment mode equal to we will see the payment mode here equal to payment mode dot get payment mode okay and another one is transaction reference okay so we have transaction reference so let's save this this is the transaction reference okay so now we are done with the these two status okay so let's see uh, this is continuously running all right so click here and next so let's see what what this error is showing here response amount we at least one rupees okay so home this add to cart my cart proceed razor pay this one okay and then we have a uh, uh, pay now okay card then we have a uh, some number future date let's say switch one two three pay now 
pay without saving the card. All right, so OTP. Okay, it will return in two one seconds. Okay, let's see what it is saying here. Console, it is showing some error. So, what is the error? Unable to check input pattern because this one invalid segment. All right, so let's see. Get payment mode, get transfer ID. So, here we have everything. We are posting the data, we have uh, trans data. And if trans data is this one, response should it should return invalid segment true invalid segment okay let's see new form data so okay actually this is not like this it should be append append trans reference equal to this and then we have payment mode okay so payment mode we have to do payment again so let's go to home this here add to cart my cart let's remove all of this proceed razor pay next and let's say card this one future expiry date and one two three we have and then this is abc a pay without saving the card any otp submit now it should work let's see what it is saying now this is the trans data dot append now everything is correct so what's the issue create razor pay order we have this here this is returning create things and trans data so trans data is here is a form id if i say trans data equal equal to new form data let's say this one and uh, we are passing something here uh, update order status true trans data handler function we are passing the things let's see create again net <coughs> four and then abc then one two three then pay now pay without card this one hmm so it should work now let's see what is the issue okay this is done so if we check in the table our admin table so let's go to admin and go to orders and let's show the admin table where is the admin table here we have order 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 this is so we will say payment mode and then we have trans reference so let's see so razor pay and transaction reference is this okay now let's save the save for the paypal okay okay so now let's save the paypal reference and uh, mode mode will we will manually say paypal and transaction reference so let's add this product add to cart my cart and proceed and one more thing we will see here details and then according to that we will save the data right so paypal paypal here 
so make sure you have logged in your uh, account and after that complete purchase all right and then it will send us this data so this is the id that we will save okay so status completed okay so let's because this is in the on approve callback so it is completed so let's pass the data so what we need to pass here we will pass transaction reference and other one is payment mode so payment mode is paypal a transaction reference is detail start let's see what it is detail start id okay detail start id great so now uh, let's see the order status here so after that response will be uh, if response is success then we will go to order success page so let's go to home add this one add to cart my cart and then proceed paypal and i have removed this next button in the um, usd currency okay all right so now here it is and then complete purchase and it is thanks for the order and if i see here then we have paypal here, right these are the previous things so it is not defined okay so paypal and then transaction number great right and uh, this is complete and one more thing that uh, we need to do if i go to dashboard and if i go to orders and here it is showing the status but uh, it is showing how many orders here we have so if i see the dashboard 15 and here we are showing seeing the 11 order so let's go to orders right let's go to orders please apply the pagination uh, like we did on the categories all other pages right and then uh, we will see i'm going to show all the orders currently so let's open the customer and uh, orders and here we have order items so order items so how many we are showing here we are showing actually 12 by default i think 12 is set so let's go to views and let's say order items which url we are sending uh, if i go to confirm order and it is where is that uh, no this is the orders so customer orders okay so url customer orders so customer this one customer order item list this is uh, list api and we have order item serializer so let's open the serializer all right so this is showing if i go to the pagination we have custom pagination get previous link uh, serializer why this is showing only the 11 data it should show all the data orders let's check this order row we will see i will see this and i will fix and push and uh, but we have completed our main thing but uh, this is showing only 11 data but we need all right so i will see this and uh, see why this is only showing 11 okay so thank you so much for watching the video and in our next video maybe in our next two videos uh, we will complete this series and then we will start the new one right thank you so much for watching the video